Hi everyone. After talking about the ice box last time, let's do an example. For the reaction given below, 3.00 moles of A and 4.00 moles of B are placed in a 2.00 liter container. Two moles of A reacting with B in equilibrium with one mole of C. At equilibrium, the concentration of A is 0 0.40 moles per liter. Determine the equilibrium constant. Please note that this is a typical icebox question. It has an initial setup. It's implied that time lapses before eventually arriving at equilibrium. Um, the standard setup is really divided into those three parts, initial, change, equilibrium. Here, it's even nice that the reaction itself separates the initial setup from the equilibrium values. We're going to see language that says things like placed in a container, injected into a vessel. Okay? There's a before, change, before eventually we arrive at equilibrium. Once we do that, we can start immediately to set up the equation for a nice box. I like to imagine that the equation itself is divided into columns, and I put that ICE there, initial change equilibrium. The values that we're going to put in the ice box must be molar concentrations. Here we have the extra wrinkle. We have three moles of A in a two liter container. Three moles of A in a two liter container. And it's the initial concentration of A was 1.50 moles per liter. For B, we had four moles of B in a two liter container. 4 moles of B in a 2 liter container, that's 2.00 moles per liter. This first sentence is describing the initial setup. We had the two reactants present, but before the reaction began, there was no C. So the initial concentration of chemical C here is 0. Then, at equilibrium, the concentration of A was found to be 0 0.40 moles per liter. Oh, that's going to go right here, 0 0.40 moles per liter. It's pretty explicit. At equilibrium, so it goes in the E line of the ice box, it's already in a molar concentration, 0 0.40 moles per liter. We filled it in. Here, the two reactants experienced negative change. Their concentrations had to go down as the reaction proceeded towards equilibrium. Chemical C started at zero. It had to increase. It experienced positive chemical change. Now we're doing our best to fill in what we can. Chemical A started at 1.5 and it ended up at 0.4, it went down by 1.10 moles per liter. Our next move is to go from column to column. We can only move across the ice box on the change line. Here we have to follow stoichiometric mole ratios. Look at this. B is in a 1 to 2 ratio with A. 1 to 2 ratio, so its change was half as much. A went down by 1.1, so B must decrease by 0 0.55 moles per liter. Half as much. When we do that subtraction, 2 subtract 0.55, doing it on my calculator so you can really slow down. 2 subtract 0 0.55, 1.45, 1.45 moles per liter. That's the equilibrium concentration of chemical B. 
C is in a one-to-one -one ratio with B and a one-to-two ratio with A. So it had the same change as B, because it's in a one-to-one -one ratio, only this time it was positive change. 0 0.55 moles per liter, zero plus 0 0.55 is 0 0.55 moles per liter. We filled in the ice box. Now we can proceed to answering the question, determine the equilibrium constant. To do that, what we need first is the equilibrium law expression. Here, this Kc is the concentration chemical C over the concentration of chemical A squared multiplied by the concentration of chemical B. Now we're going to substitute our equilibrium concentrations into the equilibrium law expression. This is the concentration of chemical C was 0.55. Over concentration of chemical A over there was 0 0.40. 0 0.40 moles per liter squared. And the concentration of chemical B, 1.45 moles per liter. Now we're going to calculate away. I'm taking my time. There's lots of buttons to push. 0 0.40 squared times 1.45. We end up with 2.37068965. Need to go back and apply my significant digits. Look back at the question. Oh, this concentration right here has only two significant digits, so our final answer must also have two significant digits. Here we have 2.4, and the equilibrium constant doesn't have units. So that is our final answer, 2.4. Looking back, we were able to identify that it was an icebox question because it des described an initial setup and then an equilibrium. We had to be careful to only use concentration values in the icebox. So we had these initial calculations, moles divided by volume for A and B. It was implied that the initial concentration of C was zero. We had the reactants experiencing negative change, their concentrations were decreasing, whereas the product C had a positive change, its concentration increased from zero up to 0.55. We went across the icebox on the change line following mole ratios. B was in a 1 to 2 ratio, so its change was half as much. Once we had the icebox complete, we substituted the equilibrium concentrations into our equilibrium law expression, which we then solved for the equilibrium constant. And I hope that helps.